Hey guys, what I want to show you today is just a really quick tutorial on how to get rid of static grainy noises from audio clips. This is relatively straightforward, but it's really, really helpful if you know how to do this quickly and effectively. Because there's nothing more annoying than having like a constant static in the background of your audio. So I've already gone through the trouble of recording a clip where you can hear some static in the background. And let's just quickly play it back so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. So we put it in our timeline, whatever your audio may be. Once you play it back like this, this is the microphone gain turned up way too high. Can you hear the static? And especially at the end of the clip there where I'm not talking, if I just play it back, you hear the static. You can hear this horrible static, you know, wavy effect. It's just, you know, really ruins the whole audio. Not that this was anything special to begin with. <laughs> so the way, the way to counter this and to get rid of it is to firstly go to window and make sure you have your effect controls open. And now you want to go to audio effects and you want to scroll down till you find the denoiser. And you want to drag the denoiser, once you've clicked your audio to bring up the effect for that specific piece of audio, you want to drag the denoiser over and it's going to bring up a little denoiser option and click that and you want to go, go to individual parameters. And reduction is what we're going to be using today. Now it, the reduction is uh, like a scroll wheel and you can go from 0 to minus 20 decibels. So let's try minus 20 and let's play back our clip and try and listen. That's been applied to our audio clip now and let's listen to see what the change is. This is the microphone gain turned up way too high. Can you hear the static? And funny enough, I don't actually hear any static there. It's done exactly what we wanted it to do. It's removed the static grainy effect from the background. But I've also noticed that my tone of voice has slightly changed from the quite high reduction amount that we put on. So let's try maybe set minus 7 decibels. And let's play back and let's see if we can hear any static and if our uh, voice has changed. This is the microphone gain turned up way too high. Can you hear the static? Now I can't hear any static there and the voice seems to be just about how I recorded it. So that's exactly what we wanted and we can leave it like that. Now let's put it back to zero just as, so we can um, quantify the change. So let's press play. Gain turned up way too high. Can you hear the static? Again, you can hear that static grainy sound. And then let's go back to our minus seven, which I think is probably best for this type of audio clip. And I'll click play. Turned up way too high. Can you hear the static? Yeah, and that's just infinitely better. Perhaps even a bit more reduction on that clip would help a lot. As I said, the, the, the microphone setup I've got isn't that great. But yeah, that's just a simple, easy and effective way. You can literally do your whole video with just a few clicks with that reduction and get rid of it, uh, that static grainy sound instantly. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.